Yeah. Um, so I, I love it. You know, the scene was coming off of a, a memory of her husband and mm. she had been, you know, in this grief fog and, um, you know, there were a lot of depressive symptoms for such a long time and that she could actually tap into a happy memory of, you know, dancing with him and then share it with her baby. And then her baby, right, is at the stage where she, um, she can laugh and connect with her mom and vice versa. So mm. just very, very heartfelt. And, and I, you know, and I love that. She, and then she called her friend, right. To be able to share like that it isn't all doom and gloom, like that there are these pockets of um, connection and in mm. her, you know, really coming out of um, some of her postpartum struggles. I would love to be in that moment as a therapist or you, Heidi, when they call you up mm -hmm. or they email you or they sit down the following week and they're like, hey, you know, I finally freaking did it. They smile. We're having a good, finally feel like a competent mother. Uh, you know, you see them yeah. that they connected. I would love to be in your shoes to see that moment yeah. for them because I guarantee you they, they, they'd laugh with you and joyful, but I guarantee you they would be crying too in that session because it finally happened. So yeah. they're probably going to cry out of happiness. What is it like yeah. to be in that situation where you get to see them get a win? Well, I, I think what's interesting because it's also online sessions is sometimes I get to see those with them, right? So yeah. I can have somebody talking about the struggle and then baby will do something, right? Like baby will, um, you know, laugh or smile or giggle or yeah. And then, and, and that you can see, see the connection on screen between mom and baby. I mean, it's right there. Yeah. And, and so what's also nice, right. Is like when people are coming in and they're struggling, you know, even, you know, if their baby isn't with them that session, like sometimes we can go back and be like, but remember the last session we had and you guys had that great eye contact and, you know, you were smiling at each other, right? Like you, they, the connection is there. Yes. And I can validate that for you as well. If you're having trouble internally doing that right now, because I actually visually saw, I saw it in it. that moment with the two of you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like they're flawed thinking or, or maybe they remembered it incorrectly. You know, this is factual. This isn't some yeah. affirmation. I'm just saying, because I'm being nice because you're paying me. I'm just stating facts. You and the baby are having a good time right. and you're laughing, you're smiling and connecting, you know, it's there. It can happen. You can replicate it. Yeah. You just got to sleep. <laughs> you just got, you got to find a way well, to go to sleep. You know. Nah, who needs that? You don't need it. Oh, and that, that's a huge one, right? I mean, it's like that link between sleep and anxiety, right? So sleep goes down, anxiety goes up. And we see that so much in early postpartum, right? People aren't sleeping. And then the next day, really high anxiety. Yeah. I mean, take my college students. So they're not sleeping because they're grinding on exams and studying and studying and studying. Well, their ability to have empathy goes away. They're more irritable. They're more angry. They're more frustrated. Yeah. Um, and you see that impact their relationships over a long period of time affects a lot of relationships. Specifically though, with some of my students that are neurodivergent, they keep going and going and going so long. They're not sleeping two, three days in a row, maybe a couple hours here and there. Mm -hmm. They could go into psychosis. So, yeah, right, I have clients scary. who be like, hey, man, I'm hearing something. I'm like, who, are you, who is it? You hear him now? No, you better not kill me in my goddamn office. Goddamn, you better get out of here. I'm teasing right there. But, like, you, the sleep is a big. So I can't even imagine being a parent, being a neurotypical or neurodivergent individual, being a parent, and how important sleep is. And so having that good community has to mean a lot. Mm -hmm. To just get a little bit of respite. Um, I have some friends that have twins. So we had a current person on the podcast that had twins. She's like, Nas, I, I don't even know what the fuck's going on. And she's a therapist. And she's yeah. like, I'm losing my beans. Um, yeah. I've had some coworkers that are therapists that had twins. He's like, Nas, I didn't sleep for like the first two years. Because as soon as you change one, now you got to change the other one. Yeah. Oh, I believe it. Uh, do you have any clients as Whole we wrap up? Here? Did you have any clients with oh, the yeah. twins? Yeah. Yeah. I have clients with twins. 
I have my two best friends from college, both have twins. Wow. Um, and it's funny, they're around the same age as my son. And so we used to joke, like, when I was struggling with my son, I'm like, oh, but you two have two of these. So I, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, we're good. Don't you worry we're about fine. me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can validate this is hard. And I know it's definitely hard over there. I can validate that for, for sure. Too. <laughs> uh, he was just happy to see her happy, even though the dancing was weird. It's just happy to see someone get a win. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I like yeah. how she calls up her friend or her neighbor because I think she's thinks she's her friend, but I don't know if the black woman thinks that she's her friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a one sided uh, friendship. One sided. Um, <laughs> but it reminds me of my uh, my bestie Colin, and he was, she put me on Instagram. He said, "Look, she she she's saying car," and. I don't know what to tell you, man. That you know, she just mumbled some shit that was not car. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Look, she can put the ball on the hoop." And then I, <laughs> I'm like, "So she gonna move? Or she just gonna sit there?" <laughs> I swear she did it like a second ago. He's like, "I swear she did it, man." And he literally would be like, "Dude, you're embarrassing me, girl. Move." Um, and she just sits there and looks at me. It's because she gets distracted with the phone. So my yeah, big old yeah. head, potato head, gets what prod on I the mean. phone. Yeah, she forgets everything. You see this <laughs> face? This is a traumatizing face. Yeah, I'm just like, uh. <laughs> the baby's like, who the hell is this? Why is a potato talking? I don't <laughs> get it. <laughs> Daddy, make the potato stuff. Why do we keep watching Toy Story over and over? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we get it. Your toys that talk. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um. He calls me in legit ecstasy every time when she does something new. Mm-hmm. And so he's like, look, look, she can, well, you're supposed to do more like this in sign language, but she'll do it like this. Yeah. And, 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 right. And he's like, look at her, right. She, she'll be eating or whatever. She just did it yesterday. She's got her own play sets. She can put things into this little target basket that they got. And she'll just go shopping around the house. I mean, mm-hmm. He's like, you got to see it. He sends me videos nonstop all day, every day. And I'm pretty much the only person he talks to for the last like 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, And the fact that he sends me these images is magnificent. You know, I don't care. Send them to me. Uh, It's got to be awesome to be a parent to get those wins. Yeah. She, she can't talk that good yet at uh, what, what a year and a half, but. She knows when you tell her something, she knows. Go get the ball, go get the car, go get your books, right? And yeah. then she'll go get it and then she'll bring it to you and then she'll run away. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. I'm done with this. Um, so, Spence, you got any questions for her as we're wrapping up here? I think we're good. I think we're good. So, for Heidi. From moms, new moms, new parents, right? Going out there struggling with postpartum or just struggling with prenatal care. What's your advice to them? What do you want to say to the humans listening today? Uh, yeah. Um, I I would say the first thing is, you know, usually ob midwives, and now even pediatricians are screening new moms. Okay. Um, for especially for postpartum depression, um, is to be honest on there with like really how you're doing. Yep. Um, because that's kind of the the first place that we can catch people. And then, you know, if you're honest on there and there are some concerns and you really are struggling, then the hope is that um that one of these providers that you already trust can get you in to see a therapist. Um you know, or sometimes, you know, maybe you start with a psychiatrist if they're feeling like medication might be warranted. Um, but to get you seen by somebody that can be getting you feeling better quicker so that, you know, like so that you don't have regrets around this time being stolen because you weren't feeling like yourself. Yep. There you go. Be honest. You're right. Because a lot of folks would be like, everything's fine. How you doing? Fine. Mm-hmm. You sure? I, I saw you shaking that baby earlier in the waiting room. You know, you sure you? Oh good? my god! <laughs> no, but you're for real. Be be honest. Uh, I just want to tell the moms out there: uh, don't 
let your intrusive thoughts lie to you and fool you thinking that you're a bad mother or you'll be like the previous parents that you had. You write your own book. You write your own story. Continue to be you. Continue to be the awesome person that you are. Your thoughts don't mean that they're real. They're real actions. They're just things that come in there, especially when our homeowner levels are off, serotonin's off. You got this. You can do it. Much love. And if you need more help or support, those of you that listen to the podcast, we're going to have a bunch of resources in for folks that Heidi talked about today. They'll be linked in almost every place where this podcast is seen. Okay. <laughs> Take us out, Spence. Okay. Thank you, Heidi, for coming on. Um, any plugs before we leave? The day. Oh, for you. Um, how about my website? Okay. So Heidi McBain.com and I have uh, information on therapy, coaching. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Check out the full episode on our channel and anywhere you find podcasts. Also, remember to like and subscribe. Whoop whoop.